Hey everybody, it's Steve Apes. Welcome to the True Vapor Show. <laughs> <laughs> I've been waiting for that one for a long time. <laughs> and then we finally got it in. Holy <laughs> crap. So what's going on, folks? It is the True Vapor Show, and I've lost track. Oh, it's number 113. So you see we've got a... Uh, a huge group in here tonight. I'm trying to get them all on the screen, but I just don't have enough real estate here to get everybody in. But with that being said, take it away, Mark. Oh, yes. All right. Um, hmm. Uh, I'm not vaping on much today. Got the Minikin Boost Kadoma, Kadama, whatever you want to call it, with the Valerian on top as usual with some... Where's the juice? I just had it in my hand. Son of a bitch. Where'd it go? I don't know where the bottle. Oh, here it is. Du -du -du -du. The Nada juice. Nada Nada. I got this thing. Forgot the name of it, but I am vaping on it. This little pod system. And, of course, I got the Sanctuary, as always, with the goon. Inside of there, I have no idea. But you guys can see my coils. Probably not. Those are black as hell. Time for a change. Take it away, Mr. Phenom. Yeah, oh, all right. I don't have that much today. I got the usual. Look at this. This is the first mod that I have like anywhere in the RDA. Look at the icon. It's all like dinged up everywhere. Ooh. Dude, when I when I say I throw this thing in my pocket and in my bag or whatever, like literally I do that. So Boxster 2X700 with the red icon. In this one, I have some Tony B blue pucker. This stuff is awesome. I like that stuff. Then I got my my limelight blacked out, black on black on black on black with the Concord on top. And oh, I got a uh, mint, what's this? Mint to be, I picked this up in uh, Miami when we were down there, it's pretty good. And the last one, my new toy, well, two new toys, this is the um, Archon, uh, Cyclone edition. Look at this. It's got the rounded back like the the Cyclone. It's got two uh, stainless doors on both sides that you could take off. And on top of that is the uh, was it the Entheon single coil RDA. This thing is nice. Inside here I got them Jeremy J Roller coils. I love this thing. It's 0.15. Oh my god, so good. And still my favorite right now is Drip Witch. Take it away, SD. See, every time Phenom shows this shit, I just want to cut my camera off and go sit in the corner. <laughs> I don't even want to. I just want to throw up like an eye stick or some shit. But anyway, <laughs> I'll try to keep up with Phenom tonight, which I know I can't. But yes, as always, I'm on my boxer. I love my boxer 2700 with the reload. And in that, I run some of this awesome stuff here. This Nada, this Portuguese Portuguese loving juice right here. That's all I can say. Good stuff. Also, I am on the double barrel with the serpent. And in that, where's my... There it is. I'll make this one up quick. The simple apple roll. I think somebody in chat was talking about this one earlier. This is good shit right here. You can see it's just about gone. Yeah, I can't get... Never get enough of that one. So, uh, yes, okay. I was laughing for a second. I was trying to read something here, but so what is going on with everybody? I'm tired as hell right now. It's only Tuesday, and it feels like it's Friday because for some reason, these two days just have been long as shit for some reason. I don't know why, but uh, I'm very tired also, and I don't even work, dude. We Just had from napping. <laughs> hell yeah. So we had I, I just gotta commend Mark. We had an awesome show Sunday night. I've seen a lot of comments on their stating that was probably one of the best shows so far. I have to agree. I think I think that was pretty good one. But here we go. Coming up next week. 
<laughs> just say it. Just get it over with. It was S. St. Who got uh, what's his name <laughs> on the show? No, no, he wasn't I, to that. <laughs> I wasn't. I wasn't even alluding to that. I, that's cool. That's cool. Uh, next week we're gonna be walking. Uh, we're gonna be walking on the White House side a little bit, aren't we, kid? Yes, sir. The vaping legion. <sighs> yes, the vaping legion is going to be on Sunday. I don't know who all is gonna be on that panel right now, but I can tell you who won't be there, Addy. <laughs> why don't you think Addy would be there? Because he's afraid. I don't know why, but he won't be there. I guess so. Addy should be the number one person to be on that type of show. That's what I would think. Like, I thought he'd be the first one to want to get his opinion in, but guess not. Well, I mean, it's it, it's it's going to be interesting. I don't know. I don't maybe always agree with everybody's opinion and I'm not calling anybody out, but like I said, I might not agree with everybody's opinion, but at the end of the day, I think we're all reaching for the same goal pretty much. Uh, pretty much. Sometimes when I listen to certain people, I get the wrong impression, but then after, you know, maybe talking with them, just like anybody else in this world, you kind of maybe understand things a little bit more. So, it, I don't know. It's what like you're it, trying to say is the Vaping Legion comes off as a bunch of douchebags, but once you get to know them, they seem like pretty cool guys. Yeah. I mean, uh, we had a little private chat with them last week after Andrew's show, uh, at least one of the members. And, hey, you know, it just kind of seemed more or less like a bullshit session like we would normally have behind closed doors anyway, you know. So it did seem. Uh, pretty cool like they don't come off as like they do on on their show like you know yeah so like, I'm, I'm gonna come get you yeah. that kind yeah. of thing like that they're pretty laid back well i think like the the way that you guys handle the show i mean you know heavy show your show i mean it's neutral territory right it's open for discussion and open for debate they're not they're fine having an, a debate you know no one's attacking them you're just questioning you know the things yeah. that you agree on the things that you don't agree on it is what it is um, but when they do it on their own show, I mean, obviously they're open to attacks and they could yeah. feel defensive at times. Yeah. Yeah. If you, if you can be calm and talk about this shit, it seems to go a whole lot better than, you know, screaming, yelling, cussing, all that, because that never solves anything. But I, I got a feeling it's going to be a pretty rare, an interesting show coming up for Sunday. So we'll see how that one goes. I, for some reason, feel like Mark is just going to be quiet as I'll get out, maybe keeping his camera off a good bit of the show, but not me. Yeah, I didn't no. talk much this past weekend because Dimitri just talker. He is a good yeah. He, so, I mean I could say one thing about Dimitri though, like he talked about advocacy for the entire show and I wasn't once bored. For some reason when he talks about advocacy it doesn't bore me. I don't know why. Well I think he opens our ears to a lot of things that we don't get to hear about. So maybe it's the more interesting real news about advocacy other than maybe the day in and day out stuff we hear all the time. So, Well, Donnie, he wears his heart on his sleeve, right? Like he's emotional about this entire thing. Like he he's truly for trying to save vape and you can just tell based on the way he talks. It's not a it's not a script that's just written out and that he's recited over and over and over again. It might be the same topics, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Exactly. And like he gives you like. He tells you like how it is. He doesn't like just like you know I'm said reads off a script like HR twenty two like he tells you what it is. It tells you if you're gonna get fucked or not, and that's the way it is. Yeah, I love the way he does it. Yeah, and it did get interesting at times to see uh, Phil giving him those dirty looks. Yeah, he but was quiet during the whole show. I was pretty shocked. I was a little shocked myself there on that, but. Definitely was a good one. Uh, and then, man, let's see. We've got, what have we got? What, two more weeks left? And then we're all rocking and rolling down to the same place. And these are just flying by right now, dude. Yeah, they are. I'm, I'm ready for it, too. And two, days in like, uh, two weeks in like three days. Yep. Oh, well, Mark's going down earlier. His vacation starts literally in two weeks. Exactly. He'll be uh Are you with Mike Mark? New New Orleans. <laughs> there we go. And New Orleans. <laughs> New Orleans. 
So you'll be basking in the uh, Louisiana sun on the plantation, correct? No, I'll be in the Louisiana air conditioning in my hotel room. <laughs> For <Dude>. three days? <laughs> yeah. Dude, you're on vacation, man. You're not supposed to be sitting in a hotel room on vacation. Vacation for me is laying in the bed with the air conditioning blasting, with the TV on. No kid. Wow. I just assume that, well, I guess it just makes you feel like you're at home, right? Pretty much. Nice. All right, let's show that, Uh, since we got it to sit. Oh, thank you there, Mr. Vape, Ross Vape. Mark, are you saying Dear Addy is boring? <laughs> no, I didn't, say, I didn't say boring. I just said... Yeah, you are. It sounds like you're saying that. Well, no. A lot of people, when they talk advocacy, it's really boring. It is. It's very boring. But for some odd reason, I was, like, listening all all day Sunday. I was listening. I was not bored once. Just, I don't know. Just the way he talks just keeps me, like, I don't know, hooked. Yeah. Uh, ST, are you enjoying your new job? Yes, I am, but I'm not enjoying the hours. I can't get used to it. Even though I'm starting to kind of get used to this day the shift normal, stuff. Normal hours, you mean? Yeah, but <laughs> at, within less than a month, I'll be back on the evening. So it'll, I'll be changing that shit back around. And then nobody will watch the show again because it'll be, you know, first thing in the morning. So <laughs> I guess I better take advantage of this while I can. Now, we did have something that happened that was quite interesting, and I don't know if people kept up with it or not on the show, and I'm still kind of watching it, but I don't know, once again, if it's one of those YouTube glitches or not, but apparently the show jumped up to around 6,700 views or viewing at one point on the show, and then the number just started going all over the place. Yeah, that well, had to be a glitch. Well, typically, though, when these shows go down and they're getting ready to be set back up for the replay, normally when they go up, there's, like in Mark's case, there's always about, maybe typically about 3,000 something views already. So what happened was Sunday night, after we went off, a few hours later, show it uploaded, looked at it, had like 3,100 views. Looked at it again, maybe about 30 minutes later, and it was up to 11,000 views. Now, if you go over there and look, the show is at over 20,000 views. So I don't know, again, if it's a YouTube glitch or what the hell is going on. But I think the, the replay views are right, but the, the, live, the live views was not correct. Like It was at like 790, 760, but yeah. then it jumped to like 6,000 at one point. There's... I don't care who's on the show. Ain't no 6,000 people going to be watching it live. Yeah. What do you mean? You're 92,000 subscribers large. Yeah. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I thought you were at 93. I was. Did I, go, did I fall back? No, uh, I, didn't, I didn't update. Oh, I, I was going to say. Oh, oh, I fell back. That's it. I'm done. <laughs> So just because Mark's such a good friend, I'm going to keep pushing every time I can while I'm on public. Let's get Mark up to his 100K, <laughs> yeah. you know, whatever we have to do to get him at his 100K. So. Everybody subscribe on their troll accounts. Thank you. Yes, yes. <laughs> um, so yesterday we were chit-chatting a little bit uh, last night. Mark got a pretty interesting mod. He just showed off a minute ago. You want to flash that one real quick? The... Uh... Let me present Mr. Fagan here. On this camera, let's see that camera. Doo -doo. Whoa, it's oh, yeah. good. Lord. I think folks have been kind of lit. See, that gunmetal looks pretty good. Is that yeah. gunmetal on the front? That's like a like a real gunmetal, too. Or yes. It's not like that cheap, like high gloss, like chrome plated gunmetal. Yeah. But it looks just like the. Uh, Minikin, what version was this? 1.5, whatever, but it's smaller. Yep, looks the same. Yeah. But it's. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Is it smaller? Yeah, it's a little bit oh, smaller. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's smaller. Not by much, but it's a little bit smaller. So, what's the yeah. difference then? The chip. chip is different, and as of now, I think that's it. Same battery cap, everything. Click the button on there and let me see what the screen looks like. So it's one millimeter smaller and everything else, and it's a different chip? 
it's got an update. Well, I think the firmware is updated. I think I don't know. I have to look at what chip they're using in here, but you know, the body of that is. We were looking at it on on your cell phone, and it looked kind of cheap. But looking at it like this, it looks a whole lot better, actually. Yeah, I just I've never seen it so glossy like that. Like you see how the the previous one is. It's not as gloss. It's not glossy. This one's like really glossy. Mm -hmm. Nice. But yeah, it looks nice so far. Cool deal. And you said you'll be giving that away at the end of the show. Okay, cool deal. Thank that you. Be a negative. Thank you. So, I know Mike's giving one away though. Contact him. Oh, here we go. <laughs> That's he's got, that. he's got a whole case of them in, so he'll, he'll be giving one away to. I think he's doing like twenty winners. Yeah, that's Mike's cue to jump in now. <laughs> Where's Mike, anyways? Where's everybody? I don't know. Uh, I don't think. Andrew had uh, Andrew had a little social event tonight with his uh, club. Is his his club? What is he in a biker club or something? <laughs> his little Mason club. <laughs> and uh, he calls it that, but I think it is. I think it's some kind of biker club or, you know, some kind of uh, code. Yeah, it's a code for a club that normally most of us wouldn't go to, but uh, get pride club. Uh, anyway, so uh, <laughs> and then I don't know where Mike's at. So I had invited uh, Matt on tonight, but he was tied up with some other stuff. He hit me back, so uh, maybe next week Matt might join us, possibly. So Freemason equals bowling. That's probably right. They're probably just, <laughs> they're probably just down there bowling and getting drunk and all that good stuff. So He's on a bowling league. Nice. So uh, I did get a – I'm sure you got one too, Mark, and I know Andrew did because we were talking earlier. Uh, got an email. I see Centurion is about to put out another new mod. Yep. Uh, I guess resin is going to be the the thing to go to in 2017. So, Is resin uh, cheap or – Yeah, it's super cheap. Is it cheap? Yeah. So, just dump, dump it in the tub and just start mixing. Once yeah. it hardens, you cut things out of it. So that is going to be the net. Is going to be a 200 watt device. I, th I forget what the hell is it called again. The ballast or something like that. I forget exactly. I ain't going to look for it. I have no clue. I don't remember what the name was. But uh, it looks like, almost looks like a cartel that you kind of put your hand on and kind of crunched it down a little bit. And that's about what it looks like. It looks like a shorty cartel. So. <laughs> But uh, it is a dual 18650. Uh, Tell us that clone company, right? <laughs> it is, isn't it? <laughs> I'm kidding. Isn't that the company that Brian was working with a little bit? I think Brian <laughs> owns that company, actually. I think he does, too. <laughs> he didn't want to say, though. Uh, hey, when does that um, as modus, like, side squonk button thing come out? I thought it would have been out by now. I have no idea. Pretty interesting. See, when Mike asked you last night about the Asmodus mod, or maybe you mentioned it, I thought that's the one you were talking about at first. No. It was this new boost. Have you even seen, like, pictures of a prototype or anything? I think Mike, I don't know, I could be wrong, but I, I think Mike said he's seen it at an expo, but I didn't see pictures. No, I think it was Daniel saw it at the expo in uh, Cali. Oh, was it Daniel? Okay. Yeah. Oh, I think my wife got locked out. Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> I don't even want to answer that one. <laughs> like he didn't do that on purpose. Exactly. Oh, mind. That's not. I thought she was knocking on a door. That's her slamming the spoon against the pot, making dinner. <laughs> oh. <laughs> she just thinks sounds though, Mark. Yeah. It sounded like a little, little door tapper. <laughs> wow, I, don't know, I thought maybe it was the police trying to get in or something. IJoy has a Squonker cat mod. Oh, yeah, the, the uh, capo or capo, whatever. Oh, yeah, I've seen that. That looks pretty cool. Yeah. Hopefully, it doesn't function as bad as the. Hopefully, sure. it's not 21700. Yeah, because we realize that one's. Yeah, that one's not. Well, when the, when the real 21700s come out, I mean. Yeah. 
hopefully soon. Yeah, I was thinking about hitting a boxer just to get one of their uh, DNA 75s just so I have something to do with these 21700 batteries. Eight of them just collecting dust right now. Uh, well, you could have had more. Tom could have just sent his up to you. <laughs> I'm good on it right now. <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, can someone explain why two 18650 batteries, 3.7 volts in series equals 8.4 volts? 4.2. When you charge them up to 4.2, I would assume 8.4 volts, right? Mm -hmm. Parallel is going to remain 4.2. I did get an email from uh, this one juice company I'm pretty excited about. I guess they have the uh, the whole Nix salt they use. Dude, I, I got the same I, one. Oh, did you? Is it from, uh, hold on, don't say, don't say. Some place in California? Uh, Colorado, California. What about that drug set that you were showing us yesterday that you got in, Mark? Oh, yeah. I got to show that. Uh, Lorenzo De Plano. Yep. Yep. I've never tried Nick Sells before in Niju, so I'm pretty excited. I mean, I know uh, Dimitri had, wasn't too fond of it, but I want to give it a shot. See what I like. have, and you better be careful with it because case in general, this yeah but that yeah. thing's like what 18 milligrams or something i'm gonna tell you something uh when i picked this thing up what like a week or two ago whenever you know i baked on it for half a day i realized my throat had got very sore and i thought i was coming down with a cold but then i got to realize and dude it's not that kind of sore feeling it just it feels sore i guarantee it was from this right here because i quit vaping on it Mm -hmm. And, you know, after a few days, it was gone. So I don't think this agrees with me, so I have not touched it anymore. It's almost like three milligram liquid is not enough for me at times. Like, I almost want to go back up to six for some reason. But six seems, seems too high. Like, I need just something a little bit like a four milligram or something. But I don't know. Maybe it'll. By the way, with me saying that, I'm curious. Has anybody else experienced that, or is that just something that – uh? I'm imagining because, dude, my throat got sore as hell. Like somebody had a uh, karate chopped the front of my throat. Uh, what you showing? <laughs> my my uh, cocaine stash. Oh yeah. Now, who did you receive this from again? Uh, I got this from my local drug dealer. These are his new uh, little. This is what he disposes his cocaine in, and he gives you a free little cocaine spoon. Now, I got this from a company called uh, Vita CBD, and I have no idea what kind of CBD this is. Like, I've never seen CBD like this before. But if you ask me, it looks like some type of drug, and I guess you're supposed to spoon it out. Yep. And it's, yep. what is it, crystals? Yeah, that's... <laughs> you just put a little up by your nose and then just hit it? No, I don't think you're supposed to snort. I think you're supposed to vape it. I don't know. I have absolutely no idea how you're supposed to take it, but it just looks like drugs. And then they also sent this stuff I've seen before. This is the stuff I guess you put, what are they called? Like dabs or so? I don't know what this is. It looks like snot, but. You're supposed to, you're supposed to put that directly like on your coil or wick or some shit like that. I don't know. What the I think, but. These two forms of CBD <laughs> just don't look right at all. I really, really suggest that you bring that to Alabama. So please keep that in your pocket when you get on the plane. That would be a negative because I'm not getting fucking searched by. Yeah, no way. I'll be in jail. Yeah. Won't be the first, won't be the last. So. All right. So someone said it was dabs and someone else said it was pure CBD. You can dab it. I've never dabbed anything before. Only thing I dabbed was my bingo dabber when I used to go play bingo with my grandma. So <clears throat> I have to look up and see what dabbing is. Let's talk more about you playing bingo with your grandma. <laughs> <laughs> I was pretty young. Was you pulling down some big money? Uh, 10 or $20 is big when you're like 12 years old. That is true. <laughs> I don't know which, not another vape show, was the best one. The one with Zofie or the one with Dimitri last Sunday? Well, it's probably the one with Dimitri because I kind of made that happen, but I'm not going to say anything. But anyway. Uh, as much as I like Zofie, I'm going to say Sunday was the best one. 
but See, you know, comes in comes in at second. This is the show that I wanted to pull off. I have been trying to get it together for a long time. I wanted to have Phil and Dimitri on mine because I knew if I got them together on a show beyond them having to be, you know, suit and tie serious where you can kind of cut up like on our shows. That's what I've always tried to do, but I'll be damned if it didn't happen on Mark. So it kind of bursted my bubble on mine. So anyway, but, still do it. Yeah, but it just, it seems like it's kind of, you know, where we Maybe talk about you getting the first item, you getting your first video up. That was one of the ones I kind of wanted to have my first little stab at, but. I don't know. My show needed like a good show because I was getting pretty depressed with the past shows. I'm like, I need a good show for once. Jesus. That kind of brought me back. Like, ah, finally, something yeah. satisfying. Well, I think you're going to have back to back because I really think that this one coming up is going to be. I, I There's probably going to be a lot of pissed off folks out there because I think people are just dead set, not going to be open minded about things and just be you know, going to town on it, but. I'm hoping I could find like one or two people that are completely against the blacklist and have them on the show so they can kind of, you know, debate as to why it's a good thing and why it's a bad thing. Yeah. You should have people calling questions. I tried that, but the phone rings so much, like I can't keep up with the phone. <laughs> I should try it though. Like just give my number out secretly. See, that's the thing, and you, you hit on it perfect. I love a good debate, and it would be nice to have a good debate. I just don't want to see shit get nasty. Yeah. You know, with a bunch of bullshit, because obviously nothing comes out of that, and it just turns pretty damn stupid. But Yeah, no, no, nothing like nobody that hates anything, just someone who thinks it's not a good idea. Like Demet having Demetri and I think would have been a good idea, but they're traveling, he said, to Paris, whatever. So, yeah. Uh, damn. So Jazzy's already cranking up. So, uh, do 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 do. St. Now you know already. It's gonna get really nasty. Well, see, that's the thing. That's what I don't want. It it doesn't need to. You know, there's no reason for it. And I just, but obviously, it's probably not gonna go that way. So, you got some people that are just dead set on coming on, stirring the pot. So. Yeah, no, that's not what it's about. Yeah. If, uh, all I can say is, I guess, if you are watching and you are got, or you have full intent to come in and stir shit, you know, we've got people that are moderating it that are probably more than likely just going to boot you right off the bat. So, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the Mark and Phenom show, you have to put music to that. <laughs> The Mark and Phenom show. There should be a Mike and Phenom show. That's for definite. I really should. Because everything Mike gets for review, it comes from Phenom's warehouse. So I mean <laughs> they should work together on something. <laughs> we were thinking about doing one like way back when about like accessories, like focusing on accessories, not so much oh yeah, like mods and stuff, but more on the accessories part. But yeah. My schedule is way too hectic to have like a stable show every week. You know, I think what y'all should do, uh, I know we probably, uh, probably a lot of people are getting maybe a little tired of the squonking thing, but you and Mike would be perfect for that for all the freaking high end squawkers y'all got. I mean, oh, wait, could, Tony, Tony would be perfect for that. I love, I love, Tony's so passionate talking about the squonking stuff. Oh my God. Like he could go on for hours about it. See, I knew it. You couldn't talk about it, but just for a few minutes, and then he's going to pop up and chat. <laughs> <laughs> Supposed to be on the show, Mike, not out in chat. But anyway, anywho. Anywho. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, what, have you got anything indecent, uh, Mark? I got my gloom, Bridget, finally. Yeah, I got it. I got, I've tried for six weeks. Dude, I can never win any of these randomizer lists. I, I just give up. Because with the gloom, the only reason why I got it was because there were there's like 25 spots and 25 people signed up. So I was like, all right, everybody gets one. I and thought was, you had one. No, I bought I bought one secondhand. 
I wanted a new, new one. <laughs> oh, Hold on. The first, the first one was what now? The, the first I got the wooden one just to see how, because remember, I was like a squawk hater. Remember in the beginning, I was like, squawking so stupid. Like, why would I want to like refill a bottle and that shit? As soon as I got that limelight, the maple wood one, remember the wooden one? I gave it to Mike. And dude, that thing changed my opinion on squawking. Like, that, that thing was like godsend. Then I wanted to get on the gloom. I waited. I tried for four weeks. I'm like, fuck this. I'll just buy a secondhand one. Obviously, it was overpriced and everything, but I got one, which is right here. With, but it was with red labeling. I'm like, ah, it's used and it's got the red lettering. I wanted black with the. I wanted the black buttons. I wanted the black lettering. I wanted black everything. So I finally got on the list and got my black one. But then they released the bliss, which is all white. Oh. And of course, I lost that list too. <laughs> So we'll have to wait another six weeks, I guess. So what's the deal? So you just put your name on this list, and <laughs> if you get picked, you get to purchase it? or Yeah, so it's like just like any other list that's out there on Facebook. They'll, they'll post up a, a Google Doc for, let's say, 24 hours. Everybody gets to put their name on it, and then they'll randomize it three times, and then the top 25, 100, however many units that they have are the ones that win it. You didn't win out of 25 people? No, that's that's what I'm saying. I tried six times, and the last list was 25 out of 25. I was like, all right, you all win. I had to be granted a win, and not, <laughs> not a randomizer. All right, <laughs> there's, like, there's like an atomizer that's called the the phenom that that's out there. What's that? The Haku or something? Apparently, that's another uh, RDA that people want really bad. And dude, yeah. there's like a hundred, like let's say 300 units, and there's like 600 people signing up for that stuff. So what do those glooms go for about ballpark? Four fifty US. God damn. Phenom just wants shit he can't have. That's what it is. <laughs> That's human nature, number one. Of course yeah. everyone wants shit that they don't they can't. <laughs> wow. But right, I am, I'm I'm happy with this one. Darkon? Ooh, I love this thing. Dude, like That's this awesome. thing is hefty. You, Mark, you never got an Archon, right? No, I never got one. Dude, no. I mean, this is pretty nice, and it's got oh, it's got a bigger bottle too. Oh, okay. nice. yeah, it's got a ten mil bottle instead of the seven, eight mil bottles in there. Very and cool. that's uh, twenty seven hundred. Twenty seven hundred. I mean, like this. I mean, you can't find these barely. Here we go. <laughs> and I was lucky enough to get this one right here. <laughs> So, uh, don't insult Fina with that mod. I know, I know. I just it's, they're not like, even even those cheap mods, man. Like you, the, the 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 design cues on those, like the where they place the magnet is fucking genius. All that used to be is like dead space, right by open up, ST. It's like right by the battery and the uh, the five ten pin. Mm -hmm. yep. You gotta talk, ST. Yeah. Hey. hey, hey. Dude, that's yeah. fucking genius, bro. That's where people should be putting it. That way they can save on space on the sidewalls and just focus one big magnet in the middle. So let me ask you this. 450 bucks. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> 450. Is it, is it worth 450 bucks? Honestly. Dude, like this is... You, you've... Oh, you haven't you haven't held this thing yet. I'll bring it down to Bama. This is gonna probably be the most comfortable and like no disrespect to any other modder that's out there. This is probably the the most comfortable squonker out there. Period. Well just in case, bring that other one because I might steal the other one then if it's that comfortable. <laughs> uh yeah, that's I don't know, I just some, if you love something so much, I don't. As long as you got the money, I don't. You know, I don't see a big deal in it. Four fifty. Like if I love squonking that much, and I had four fifty to burn, I'd buy one. Like the maple one wasn't that cheap, but it was cheaper. It was like two fifty for the maple one, or like the the one that's generic that you buy off the site. But dude, like that changed my entire perception about squonking. So it's like you know. Well, Mike said you bought four of them, so of course it's worth it. So. <laughs> I mean, I only, bought th it. only bought three of them. <laughs> think about it. We used to love a mod <clears throat> that was just a, <clears throat> a standard aluminum box that cost four hundred dollars. True, true. So, you know, I mean, I I do understand it, but I guess sometimes if I don't physically have it in hand, and I think of the squonking devices I do have here, I just kind of think, 
wow, you know. But, you know, this is a lot of this is hobbyist stuff too. So, yeah. you know, it, price tags come with hobby stuff. So, I mean, as much as I love the, the gloom, I still use this boxer a lot more than it because it's, it's probably the, out of all the swarms that I have, it's the easiest to remove the battery. It's the easiest to fill. It's the only one that I can, well, the one, only one that I have that can I look, lock the button and just toss into a bag. Mm-hmm. It's the most convenient one for me. Yeah. Um, off topic, I will say that if you have an iPhone, you must download iOS 11. It's um, yes. And it's pretty yeah. awesome. Yep. Me and Mark just... Know. Me and Mark just both did ours within the past couple hours, and uh, there there are some pretty awesome features on there. And I guess, you know, Apple is slowly going to turn into like an Android, to where it's going to be like so much crap on it. Dude, the iPhones are made by Samsung now. Are they? Yeah, like the screens and everything. Like the majority of the the, the components on the new iPhones are made by Samsung. No, Apple bought. Oh, here we go. I'm not even gonna get started. Yeah, let's, let's, oh, that's uh, that's what that's what I, that I, was, I don't know. That's what I came across. To so stay on topic with your off topic, why did you choose the eight over the X? See, it oh was my an accident. God. It was an accident. I walked into Best Buy. I'm like, oh my god, they got the iPhone for pre order, and I got excited. I'm like, yeah, I want the big one. <laughs> My wife's like, which ones you get? I'm like, I got the big one, the plus. She's like, you didn't get the X? I'm like, there's no X. She's like, the hell, there's not an X. I'm like, what the hell is the X? And I look up on the internet, and the X, sure enough, had a bigger screen. I'm like, son of a bitch. That fucking internet, bro. It ruins lives, I'm telling you. Dude, yeah. I have, I feel like Mark's brother, because I've been constantly texting him, dude, cancel your order, hold off for the X. You can do it. You can still do it. Because this other one is supposed to deliver by Friday, correct? Yeah, Friday, pick it up. Mm-hmm. I'm like, dude, it's... But you said like, X, you're probably not going to get your hands on until January, probably. No, it's going to be real pre-orders ne- next month, and yeah, ship but, is November, first week of no, November. You don't think it's going to be impossible to get one around then? I got a corporate account. Well, see... <laughs> <laughs> you could be lucky. I don't know. You could possibly be lucky, but dude, I mean, it's just like... The the X is completely different than the other one, and people the are probably. Well, the, the X is another first gen of their new iteration of iPhone. Exactly, you're, because, you're gonna have to expect like the the wonkiness of like a new first gen. Well, because people are assuming right now when they hear the eight, if you see the iPhone eight right now, it looks just like the iPhone seven, other than just a few little things that are hard to tell. It looks basically like the same one. The X is the one that they've changed everything on. So. Yeah, but the chip, the RAM, everything on the 8 Plus is the same as the Shut X. Shut up. Only two differences is a 0.3-inch display, and it has face recognition, which I'll never use. And the phone is smaller. Is yeah, it? What, by like a... What, no, by no, no, no. The phone, the phone is smaller. But since it has wraparound glass... It's gonna be. You drop that thing. I guarantee you it's gonna break. Dude, my my Samsung hasn't broken. I, I still have my SA with the wraparound glass. Dude, why can't you disagree with me? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> trying to find a reason why I should keep the eight plus. Son of there a- is no reason. No, you. No. I'm telling you, you need to anyway. cancel that shit. Well, if I can get my hands on an X, then I'll give that one to Angela and take. Angela that. don't want your damn hand be damn shit. <laughs> she doesn't care. <laughs> oh, she has a phone. Oh, so I. Right. Okay, never mind. We Whoa. should do cell phones and vaping. Yeah. I still have my Note Seven. Does that count for anything? <laughs> it's, 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 work? it's still brand new in a box. Yeah, it's brand new in the box, and I put it in one of those uh, lipo safe uh, cases. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Phenom just got that damn thing when they were talking about banning them on air. Planes or some shit. Matter of fact, we was down in Alabama, wasn't you? I had it. I bought. I got it the first day it came out. Yeah, but what brought it to Alabama? That's when they put the flight ban in. I had to ship it back to me. Remember? <laughs> Hell yeah! It was banned from planes. Like while I was in. Yeah, while I was in that mobile last year. That's crazy. Yep. <laughs> you should have put it in a frame and put it up down there on Heavy's wall. <laughs> but the was that in the, was that in the knife? Remember that knife that dude yep. gave. Oh, yeah, the one that Mark broke his. Yep. Good old knife. You broke yours, Mark? Hell, yeah. He can't get the blade shut up. Something happened to it. It's, I'm going to refund it. 
this year. <laughs> I hope those dudes are back down there again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. I got a uh, feeling they're not going to be down there. It's, that's just me. Yeah. If they are, I want to keep my stuff in a bag and keep it locked away somewhere. <laughs> uh, hey, we're going to need some more seating room in that uh, that little lounge of heavies with all these people coming. Yeah. Or we can just sit on the pool table and give it hell. I'm going to call Renaissance Center and just ship two couches over and see what, what happens. He needs it, man, because it doesn't take but a few folks to sit there and, you know, bam, you're out of seating quick. Yeah, pretty much. And, you know, when Mark sits down, that's he don't get back up. So yeah. didn't you have like a little roll around chair or a scooter or something like that that you were using? I wish I could have a scooter down there or well, a roll around chair. I thought you were using like some type of office chair down there that you kept rolling around in. Nope, I was sitting on the very uncomfortable uh, stool they have down there. You actually had a bucket, I think. Or no, you were sitting on top of the cooler. Oh yeah, outside. Yeah, and I actually like put a crease in the cooler when I got up. Uh, I, had to, I had to shove Mark off whenever I wanted another beer. <laughs> I, was like, Man, again? <laughs> I was the beer bitch. <laughs> oh yeah, I do remember that. What's up, Dwayne? I ain't seen you around in a while. Must have been again, Dwayne. Uh, Dwayne so, again. Says, Mark, you need an extract vaporizer for the CBD dab wax, different type of coils. Uh, is, okay. is Anakin making a uh, vaporizer for CBD? Hell no. They ain't even touching that one. Anakin's had some new things coming out here lately. It's been looking pretty cool. Uh, iPhone finally got some of the features that Androids have. Oh shit! Here we go. Yeah, but see, the problem is the features actually work on the iPhone. They don't. Work. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> it never fun. I have both, and I prefer my Samsung. Thank you. Here we go. You know what though? If the vaping ever goes down the tube, I mean that's all we need to do. We can just keep firing up a live show every night and debate cell phones, and <laughs> and never run out of topic. Never. Nope. It can take it late into the night. <laughs> uh, Lord. Twenty bucks and can dab all day. I might. Mike, try it. Mike Vape says he's got a new DNA three hundred. It's pretty nice. Nice. Factory mystery DNA 300C. No yep. Can always count on Mike to have the latest and greatest before anybody. It's actually an OLED screen for this DNA. And you can make phone calls on it <laughs> and check all social media. <laughs> uh, Mark will make his own squonker named the mild. Hold on, my cursor's in the well. Not the mild. Damn. I don't have seepage issues. I'm actually pretty dry back there. Thank you. You don't walk around with a man pond? I thought you did. Dude, that's kind of nasty, man. I bought these new underwear. These things are, man, they're the best ever. Like they, they make you feel like it's cold. Like, I don't know how to explain it. The what? Feel, it just makes everything feel nice and cool down there. Like you cannot sweat in these underwear. It's impossible. Did you get them from Walmart? I did buy them from Walmart. <laughs> They're about twelve dollars a pair. They're kind of expensive for my taste, but they for do one work. pair or a pack of twenty. For one pair. Oh. I'm used to buying Fruit of the Loom. You know, twelve bucks for like ten pair. Yeah, and you go through them pretty quick though, too, don't you? Why do they call the pair when it's only one one boxer or one? Oh, I'm not sure. Maybe there's two legs. <laughs> pair of legs, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Oh my gosh! <laughs> we can always find something good. Mike yeah, is refrigerated. Breathable. There you go. They're breathable drawers. Draw. Breath breathable drawers. Yeah. <laughs> that YouTube money. Actually, I will be demonetizing my channel at the end of the month. Ooh. Yes. You raked in that much dough that you can demonetize now? No. <laughs> I wish. Now there's something big coming up though. Is there something there's, coming up? And there's gonna be some pissed off folks when they find out what he's up to. Oh shit. Oh shit. I'm talking about you, Mark. <laughs> oh, what am I up to? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. ST Bay. 
<laughs> banned me from the show. Ain't nobody banned you from the damn show. You got a damn invite sitting there, kid. Uh, yeah. So when when is that gonna when are you gonna announce that? I'm announcing it right now. I have no clue what you're talking about. Starts with a uh, P. P. Oh, Patreon. Hell no. Yep. Here we go. What after you gonna... all the shit I after all the bad shit I said about Patreon. Yeah, what's wrong with Patreon should... again? I could never have one. Mark people, screwed himself bad on I that. I did day. screw myself because people would be like, yeah, there's no way. Yeah. How's that different than your fucking PayPal link? <sighs> there is no difference, actually. <laughs> so what's the problem? <laughs> no one used my PayPal link, so. There is a big difference. You can give back and interact with the community on Patreon. PayPal, you're just taking their money for nothing. Yeah. That is true. That, that is, is true. true. <laughs> But I like I like how Fino brings it to the table. He don't hold back at all. Nope. <laughs> now all these other reviewers are, you know, that have Patreon accounts seem to be very, you know, manage it well and don't seem to have any issues. Why do you have a problem? With Patreon? Yeah. I don't know. I just don't see it is it's a monthly payment thing, right? I don't want to get into this again. I'm just fucking with you. I really didn't I want really you to. I was just, I was just trying to fish a little bit, see if you bite. You, you were about to. Patreon, by all means, you're free to do whatever you want. Go ahead. He's trying I to keep it on the down low so that he could like pop it up sometime after people forgot about what he said about it. Exactly. <laughs> I was trying not to bring it up so that way I could slowly bring up my Patreon account. But now that you fucked it up, I got to wait another year before I do one. Yes, Louise, I was. Thank you very much. Uh, why Mike in the chat? Uh, because he doesn't. Mike says he don't want to be on the show anymore, so <laughs> he's not coming on there. Oh look, Alexander's on there. I love my Patreon more than I do my YouTube channel. See, Mark. There you go. Yep, there it is. Congratulations. And you're hating on her because she loves her Patreon channel. Wow. I just, I don't think. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I don't think anyone should be paying somebody monthly. For their services, hey, we can do a whole show on Patreon if you want. <laughs> you know, speaking of female YouTubers, there I was no, I was deleting some old emails, and I don't know why I had this one tied up, but I actually asked her to come on the show like two years ago, and for some reason it was still dug down somewhere. You know who I forgot all about? Who? Oh. That Gore Gore Brittany chick. Oh yeah. And when I said, you know what, let me go look at her channel real quick. I, I looked it up, and she's only got like two videos on there, and pretty much everything else is gone. Yeah, I thought she then she give up because of like health reasons or something. Oh no, yeah, the goth chick. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I heard she, health reasons. I remember her making some entry, but I didn't know if you know she completely had left the scene or not. But I forgot all about that one right there. Yep, go for Brittany. She was a tiny little chick too. She was like a two. Yeah, uh, you you did say some foul things about her too. <laughs> I did not say anything. I don't even know uh, that girl. <laughs> anyway, anyway, uh, so I know at the end of the week, I imagine Mark, you're getting it too. Uh, I was notified that I'll be getting one of those, one of the triples from uh, Twisted's uh, new RTA. I'm curious to see what that one's all about now. <laughs> yeah, me too. Uh, now, did he design it, or did he just put his name on it? Does anybody know? I really don't know. I know it's another uh, Vandy Bait deal, so I'm curious to see. So I figured I'm just going to bust out some big, a big major triple coil on there and see how well That's she works. 28, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, okay. It's a 28, but it's only 4 mil capacity. But with triple coil, I'm wondering if it's just going to, like, suck juice like it's going out of style which I'm certain it will depending on what build you put in it. Alexander, I was kidding. Mark doesn't hate you. <laughs> I was just busting his balls. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, what you started, Mark? God, I didn't damn. do nothing. <laughs> Can't take you anywhere. I you, know. Gotta, <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta be careful, Mark. Uh... You get anything else worth a damn this week that you know of? I can't. 
I, I won't even ask Phenom because Phenom's got it all in stock and it just seems pointless to say. Dude, I haven't bought anything for like two weeks. You don't have to. What do you mean? People you, get mad though. Oh, I, I bought something today. It should be here before the trip though. <laughs> when Phenom shows his shit though, people get mad in the comment section on the replay. They do. Like, I you just showing off your high end fancy shit. Yeah. Like, I have to. I have to answer like you know a hundred emails between the next show of why is Phenom big boy to everybody you know no nah, I'm kidding okay. I wouldn't I wouldn't care if anybody did that shit hold on I got my I'm vaping on my Cloud Beast King TFV8 in <laughs> gold yeah. it's still sealed <laughs> you should have took the wrapper off first made it look good yeah. you, you guys vape on shit with no batteries or builds it's the same thing it's just in a box. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna put it on this gold. I actually do love this thing though. Oh yeah. I love the Minikin. Minikin is probably the best ergonomically designed chip mod that I have. It's you can the, tell I never used that because there's not one fingerprint on it. What are you talking about? It's Dude. still got the plastic film over the screen. <laughs> 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 oh lord. That's <laughs> that's probably the lowest priced device you have, correct? <clears throat> uh, no. Yeah, I'll right. have another Minikin V2. Does that count? <laughs> uh, Phenom's a key. From what I can good. see, yes. Yeah. Well, that was pretty good. That was a good, good guess. <laughs> that box has never been undone. Yep, that's true. But see, what he was showing you was he was actually just showing it. He's got like. 20 of them. That you can see <laughs> he does have one open somewhere. So I am looking forward to uh, Tony's new uh, Squonker box, though. I mean, that's going to be, what, 40 50 bucks max? Yeah. Looking like the 40 something dollar price range. I, think I, thought, really out there. I thought the thing was supposed to have released already. Uh, I saw the pre-orders. I don't know when the release is, though. Yeah. Has uh, Tony answered at all whether or not he's venturing oh. down? I haven't, I haven't been busting his balls about it, and I should, though. He needs to. He needs to come on down and hang with the crew. Uh, All right. Hold on one second. Yada, yada, yada. Take it okay. away, Mark. Keep us under control. It gave me that, that purge squawk looks badass. It's brass, so I automatically like it. Is it for sale yet? I don't think so. Maybe you uh, industry-leading YouTube reviewers can get me one. Ha, I doubt. I've been trying to get a hold of the, uh, what's the one squawker from, uh, oh. Brian was talking about it. Mike was talking about it on Instagram. Shit. I want to say something. Oh, man. Why is the name? I don't know. I forget the name, but when I think of it, I'll say it. Is it a mainstream one or is it one yeah, of those? Yeah, mainstream. They make like really high end. They had that Latin. Mainstream and high end? Oh, the Vicious Ant one. Vicious Ant. There you go. That thing looks, I don't know. I'm like, can I, you know, like buy one off you full price? And they still just wouldn't sell me one. Why don't you just get it on pre order then? I was hoping just to get one like early so I can, you know. I'll be one of those guys. Be one of those guys, exactly. <laughs> uh, skullcandyvapor.com. Oh, so there's actually the Skull Candy Vapor. All right, I thought you were talking about the headphones. My bad. News a uh, subsidiary. Could be. You want to see the squonker app coming in? Yes, I do. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, shit, wrong person. Oops. That would have been bad. Ah, here we go. Let's see, sharing is caring. Application. Check out that bad boy. Whoa, that is crazy looking. Yeah, it's got all these little fucking designs and shit cut out of it. Uh, I forget what it's called. What is that made of? It's 3D printed, but then there's an acrylic. This is an acrylic door. Wow, that so this design is like on the back also. Yeah, that, that really one. Good. It's gonna be in black. It's gonna be this one, with this door. That is crazy. And 
with that door and then with this door as well, he threw in. And then I got a purple setup with a stab with that door. That is and sweet. A mirror door. Damn. All right. That is interesting. I wonder how that affects the uh, rigidity of the box, though. I don't know. Well, you said the the, the acrylic goes behind it or on the front of it, or is it just open like that? Like <clears throat> the, the acrylic is just a door, so that's the, oh, the okay. top that you part you take out. But like the three D design throughout has uh, those holes when it with it minus the sides. Oh, that's a good question. I guess you'll be the first one to find out, or. One of the ones. <laughs> Watch me just try to grip it hard once and then fucking falls <laughs> apart. <laughs> well, that goes 250 bucks. Oh, let's see. Ah, Spectre got it. The tri tripophobic squonker. Damn. That's a hell of a name. Tripophobic. Tripophobic. Fire gold. There was a question. Where did I see this question? Is there an 18 karat gold one, Spectre? Because I'm going to be looking for it. <laughs> um, yeah, for real, Joseph. No, no worry about battery venting, bro. <laughs> James Bennett. Yeah, the uh, the cartel mod you're referring to that was copied by TVC, <laughs> that's actually an RDA called a drop. That was Not copied, copied by TVC. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You got it the wrong way. <laughs> It was copied by Cartel Mods. This is it, right? I'm not sure if I'm supposed to show it, but this is it right here. I've been looking on it. I'm not well, that's a new version. The Cartel guys, apparently, their design is literally identical to what Brian had as his Beta 1 model. Yep. So it's a little weird, but they claim to have invented it themselves. But it's not, it's not really Cartel, though. Like Cartel didn't know about it. It was Obsidian, right? That's the company that they... The uh, work with? I don't know. I don't know the deal. Brian. The Obsidian is the, the manufacturer with the Cartel brand on it. Oh, okay. So I know Brian I, talked to the guy from Cartel Mods for like a few, like three hours one night on the phone. No. All right. Sorry about that. Wow. I, I've that was a new thing. Gunshots. No, uh, I'm not used to having a son-in-law, and he's having some car issues, so I had to sit here on speakerphone trying to give him a little advice real quick. So. You going to fix his own car? The fuck? Uh, he's looking for his uh, <laughs> his father-in-law to give him a little advice on that one. But you asking for favors already? What the hell? I'm not used to having a, like I said, not used to having a son-in-law, so that's kind of weird. Normally, with me having daughters, you know, if I'd have got that call, I'd have been right out the door having to take care of stuff. But anywho, uh, see, see, look what happens. This is what happens. We're, what? At the, we're at the end of the show, and here comes Mike. Oh, I can't even <laughs> fix my camera. I don't know what's wrong with my camera. I hear you. Is that your credit card? Oh, yeah, that was a credit card, wasn't it? <laughs> my camera ain't working. I don't know what's going on. Wow, I've come back to see. Let's not talk about the drop. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not sure if I could talk about the drop or not because I don't know. Brian has never really officially told me if I can or can't. So I'm assuming I can't. Yeah, I don't think I can't can. show it, I don't think. I could show it from in a distance. Like I could show it like back here. Dude, I think, I think you need to leave that be. <laughs> I don't think I could show it any other yeah, way. I don't think he's you're supposed to be showing that one off. So <laughs> anyway. Anyway. Well, yeah, anywho, uh, well, we have hit that hour mark, and uh, Mike is going to enlighten us behind the scenes on a lot of juicy news, and I'll start another live feed after he's told me everything, so be prepared for that, but <laughs> anyway, thank you for joining us, Mr. Phenom, Mark, as always. Uh, uh, if, you, if you're a manufacturer in China and you want high-resolution photos of the drop, please contact me after the show. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. It's on now. It's on now. All right. Thanks for joining us. Same time, same place. I guess if everything is good, uh, next Tuesday. Uh, don't forget Thursday night. Well, hold on. Oh, I'm jumping the gun. Don't forget tomorrow night. Uh, never heard of them. Mr. Heavy Metal. I don't know what and who's going to be on his show. 
of 18 Thursday night. Don't know who I was going to be on there. Martin might not even be on there because he couldn't make it last week for some reason or whenever. <laughs> uh, and then not another vape show that could be off the charts once again for next Sunday. So it's going to get crazy. All that good shit. I do need to get off here, though, because I know another show is beginning. And I just got the... Yep, there it goes right there. So we're out of here. Y'all have a good evening. Thanks for joining Bye, everybody. Peace. Bye, everybody. Bye.